cadets use this as a dress rehearsal for our official annual graduation parade come Saturday, uh, May 31st at HMCS York. So tonight is the big learning experience for them. Uh, they really haven't had a big dress rehearsal like this uh, as official as this in the past. They've only had a few weeks to practice or a few hours to practice. And for their first performance, their first march pass in front of an audience and in front of our VIP, they did a fabulous job. So let's give them a round of applause. So you're more than welcome to take pictures throughout the parade. You can uh, come downstairs or grab a seat on the parade square. We're not going to stop the parade uh, to take pictures though, so if you would uh, like to take a picture, please come down and advance the award. So we'll jump right into our uh, presentation. The formality of today's parade is a bit uh, relaxed compared to what you're going to see on Saturday. So I can assure you that what's happening tonight uh, is certainly nothing, not even remotely close to what you'll see on Saturday afternoon. The cadets have put together an awesome presentation for you. A drill performance, a band performance. They're going to do a lot more uh, formal movements and formal drills. So it'll certainly look a lot better than what you see tonight. But these guys certainly look good tonight as well. So we're going to start off with our first presentation. And that's uh, to the top get out of the month. So we've been giving this award, or this certificate, every month. Uh, and this is our final top get out of the month. So I'd like to call forward our training officer, Captain Focus, to present uh, this month's top get out. So what we've been doing this year, at the end of every month, we've been selecting a top get out of the month. This cadet is someone who exemplifies, who inspires, who has excellent dress deportment, drill, who, but most of all, who their attitude really shines through in everything they do that month. Someone that the other cadets can look up to. So this individual has not only displayed this this month, but has displayed for the whole year this example for the other cadets. I'm proud to call upon Flight Sergeant Bell to receive the other month. She's been in the program for six years. I'd like to call forward to help present the presentation or the medal. Uh, our representative from the sponsors, or the Air Cadet League of Canada, Ms. Lorraine Christie, to present the medal to Flight Sergeant Sierra Bell. to explain the next uh, group of uh, cadets we're going to be calling up. Captain Focus. So training is obviously a big part of the program. That's why the cadets come out for everything that they learn during the course 
course of the year and everything we can gain from the program. Um, so the, the training program spans from a level one to level five. The idea is that by the time a cadet reaches level five, they're actually doing the instructing of the cadets and there's someone that the younger cadets can look up to. So what we're doing tonight is graduating those level cadets that have completed their level this year and they're gonna be getting their level badges tonight. So when I call up your name, your level, everyone come up. So from the first person I call to the last person I call, everyone will come up. For level one, LAC Awesome. LAC Cameron. LAC Clawson. LAC Fatima. LAC, LAC Germain. Absolutely.
front, salute. Front salute. Commanding officer to assist me in our next round of promotions. To the rank of LAC, LAC Airshot. Sir, nice and hot.
to present the next award to the most promising first year cadet award. So this is uh, yeah. This is presented to two cadets, Corporal Loganathan and Corporal yeah. Rojas. So the next award is named after a former commanding officer of 330 Squadron. Currently our deputy commanding officer, I'd like to call upon Captain Marzulliano to present the Captain Anita Marzulliano Most Promising Third Year Cadet Award. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, this award is, uh, so the reason it's named after, she is a former commanding officer of the unit. Uh, so this award is presented to two cadets, Sergeant Petri and Flight Corporal McKee. The next award is also named after a former commanding officer of 330 Squadron. I'd like to call upon Captain Harris to present the Captain Debbie Harris Most Promising Fourth Year Cadet Award. This award is presented to Flight Corporal Nabila.